Hey Fixer family, it's Charmin. And on today's video, I'm doing something just a little bit different. Now it's still a DIY, but today I am sharing with you how to make a couple of comfort food recipes. Welcome to Fixin' Two. So just as I said in the opener, these are a couple of my favorite comfort foods. It is a creamy chicken and noodle. Cook it in the crock pot, so simple to make, and just a few ingredients. And then also I'm gonna make a banana nut bread with blueberries. And it is super yummy. And I'm not a big banana nut bread fan, but I really like this bread. So. I'm hungry and I'm ready to get these recipes going. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients. You'll need wide egg noodles, a 16 ounce bag, three to four boneless skinless chicken breasts. I like to use these chicken tenderloins. You'll need 42 ounces of chicken broth, a half a cup of butter or one stick of butter, You'll need two 10.75 ounces of cream of chicken soup. And I also like to use these slow cooker liners for my crock pot. Let me tell you, these are lifesavers, easy cleanup. So basically, we're just gonna go in and put our liner into our crock pot. And of course, I have an insert. And so I like to, once I get it in there, I like to kind of tuck it under the edges just to keep it secure. And then we're just going to add our chicken. Mine was a little still frozen, but that's quite all right. Then we'll add our two cans of cream of chicken soup. And this is a 48 ounce uh, container of the chicken broth. And so what I did is I just basically poured off six ounces of the chicken broth and um, I put it in the freezer for a later recipe and just poured in the remaining 42 ounces into the crock pot. Now once we got that in there, we're going to take our butter and just cut it into little pats of butter and spread them out in there individually. And now that those are in there, all of our ingredients are in, except for the noodles, that'll come later. We're just gonna take and put our lid on, place the crock pot on low for about six to eight hours. And then um, about an hour before uh, it's ready to serve, you wanna put in your um, egg noodles. Now guys, first of all, I wanna apologize. I have no idea what happened to my camera right here. It looks real hazy. But I do want to thank my husband so much for putting these in for me while I was at work so that I would come home to a yummy dinner. You'll just put those, empty the whole bag in and stir it up. And one thing I forgot to have him do was to shred the chicken, but it was so done that it was no problem whatsoever just to shred it up with the noodles in. So just replace your lid and while that was cooking, I came in and I was gonna make our banana blueberry bread. And you'll need one and three fourths cup of baking mix, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one and two thirds cup of bananas mashed, two eggs. You'll need a uh, two thirds cup of light brown sugar, a cup of chopped pecans, and one cup of blueberries. So the first thing we're gonna do is start off by, of course, spraying our dish. Now, I don't have a loaf pan, but this pan right here works really well. And then I'm just going to, into my mixer, I'm gonna put in the brown sugar. And 
And guys, I will make sure that I have both of these recipes listed below down in the description box for you. And of course, now I'm putting in my two eggs and these eggs were so yummy. They were farm fresh eggs given to us by a friend. They were super yummy. And now I'm gonna take and mash up my bananas. Now I only have two ripened bananas. It um, calls for one and two thirds cup of mashed bananas, but really and truly it's as many or as little bananas as you want. But um, this turned out really well. We're just gonna place this in the mixer. Now you can use um, the stand-up mixer like this, or you can also use a hand mixer um, or a spoon. I mean, it really, you don't have to have the big mixer. I just like using mine. We get those ingredients mixed together well. And then we're going to add our baking mix. And this is, even though I use the Great Value brand, this is like your Bisquick. So now I'm going to add my cinnamon. And then my chopped pecans. And even though I purchased already chopped pecans, I, I like them to be chopped up a little more finely. Um, so I went ahead and just extra chopped those up and put those in. And we got that all of that mixed really well and then the last step and we're going to use um, you want to hand mix these in so that you don't break them but we're going to put in and these are the blueberries I have left and I measured out I have a half a cup in my hand so I measured out two half cups to make a whole cup and there was a few left and I said eh, what the heck we'll put them all in <laughs> never can have too many blueberries I don't think <laughs> So then you just take and just mix those in, kind of fold them in really well. And now you're ready to put this in your baking dish. Now we're ready to put it in the oven, 350 degrees, for 40 to 45 minutes. And here is the yumminess. Here is your creamy chicken noodles. And oh my goodness, this is so good. And then the banana blueberry bread. These were absolutely fantastic. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed the, these recipes that I put together today. And I hope that it inspires you to just take a few ingredients and make these for yourself. And let me know down in the comment section how you liked those recipes. I would love to hear from you. And I try my very best to answer each and every one of your comments. Also, give it a big thumbs up and let me know that you liked it as well. That really helps helps my channel out and I like to know that you guys enjoyed this little something different and also make sure that you hit that subscribe button down there it is simple it's easy and of course as I've always said it is free and I would love for you guys to join the fixer family also make sure you hit that notification bell right down there next to it because that lets you know each time I upload a video now I upload every Friday and sometimes I'll throw in a special video somewhere in the mix every now and then you never know about me <laughs> so I'm so glad that y'all came along, and again, I hope that this inspired you to go out and make these simple recipes, and always remember to keep looking up, because that's where it all is. I'll see you on the next video.